Gott sei Dank gnädig kannst. Schon der Ried. In Vers 12. And he poured of the anointing oil upon Aaron's head and anointed him to sanctify him. So Aaron was, was anointed with oil. And what does when, this, when someone is anointed, what does that mean? Because we know Jesus was anointed. Set aside. Yes. Special. <coughs> special in the in the eyes of God. So Aaron, as we know, he carried out all the, the priesthood duties, um, even in the sanctuary, the sanctuary services. And you know, he even went as far as the duties of the Day of Atonement, once a year, yeah? So he done what he had to do. What we also know as facts is God called Moses up to Mount Sinai to receive the tablets of stone, which was the Ten Commandments. In fact, yes? Let's look at that. Let's look at that. Exodus chapter 20, verse 1 to 5. Exodus chapter 20. And it reads, I am the Lord thy God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no gods other, sorry, you shall have no gods before me. You shall not make for yourselves a calf image any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the waters under the earth. You shall not bow down to them nor serve them, for I, the Lord your God, I am a jealous God, visiting the iniquities of the Father, fathers upon the children of the third and fourth generations of those who hate me, but showing mercy to thousands of those who love me, my commandments. Those are the first two commandments there. But then there's a twist right now because out of all that we know that Aaron did, let's look at what he did also. Turn with me to Exodus chapter 32. Chapter 32 and verse 1 to 7. Now when the people saw that Moses delayed coming down from the mountain, the people gathered, to, gathered together to Aaron and said to him, Come. Make us gods that shall go before us. Hold on to that. Hold on to that, little piece there, okay? For as this Moses, the man who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. Verse 2, And Aaron said to them, Break off the golden earrings, <laughs> that which are in your ears of your wives, your sons and your daughters and bring them to me. For all the people broke off the golden earrings and, which was in their ears and brought them to Aaron. And he received the gold from their hand and he fashioned it with the engraving tool and made a molded calf. Then they said, This is your God, O Israel that brought you out of the land of Egypt. So when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it. And Aaron made a pro proclamation and said, Tomorrow is the feast of the Lord. Then they rose up early the next day, burnt off, off, sorry, offered burnt offering, 
and brought peace offering. And the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to pray. And the Lord said to Moses, Go, get down, for, your, for the people who you brought out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. Whoa! There's a lot of information there, but let's back up now. Let's, let's, let's break this down bit by bit if we can. Come, make us gods that shall go before us. What did we just read? Oh, what were the, oh, sorry, as facts. Wasn't it God who was going before them? Wasn't it God who was going before them in the way of a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night? How come now that they want an image to go before them? Let's read on. This is your, this is your God, O Israel, that brought you out of the land of Egypt. Hello, hello, hello. I'm sure the Bible, what we just read it earlier, says, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You see how simple people can actually get corrupted. They have been living in Egypt for so many years. Although they were Israelites, they were actually Egyptians, mm -hmm. doing the things that it, the Egyptians was doing. Because basically, God took them from the Exodus. They went through many trials and challenges. God actually was going, in actual fact, if, if it was to back up a little bit, only a few days before this happened, they made a vow to God. They actually made a vow to God to keep his commandments. And look what happened. Only a few days when, they, when Moses went up to the mountain, because he was there for a few days, they actually went back to their old self. They were doing the things that they used to do back in Egypt. And so, basically, you've got an idol, and you worship that idol. Mm -hmm. Now, listen to, them, listen to this. In verse 5, what we just read, it says, And so Aaron saw it, and he built an altar before it. And Aaron made a proclamation and said, Tomorrow is the feast of the Lord. Now, when someone builds an altar, what is it? Why? Why do people build an altar before God? It's a place of worship, it's a place of sacrifice, isn't it? It's a place of bringing offerings mm -hmm. 